Welcome on board. We are pleased to have you join Taiwan's distant water fisheries. Taiwanese distant water fishing vessels conduct fishing operations across the three major oceans. Fishing is a challenging job. To ensure your safety and work runs smoothly during the contract period, please pay special attention to your rights and benefits. Before you work on board a fishing vessel, you have to sign an employment contract with the Taiwanese vessel owner and a service contract with a Taiwanese employment agent. The content should include the following: contract period, job description, wage, insurance, transportation costs, rest hours, labor protection, accidental injury and sickness, services provided by the agent, loans, legal obligations, breach of contract, and dispute settlement. Next, we will further explain each item in detail. One contract period. When you sign the contract, please make special note for its start and expiry dates. Year, month, and day should be specified. If the contract expires while the fishing vessel is still operating at sea, the expiry date of the contract will be automatically extended to the completion date of the trip. Once the contract has expired and you and the vessel owner have agreed to renew the contract, such renewal of contract should be made by both parties in writing. Two job description: which vessel you work for and what your job duties are, bounded by the contract. Without your approval or finishing required procedures, no one can force you to transfer to other fishing vessels to work. Three wage. Besides providing you with meals. The vessel owner is required to pay your full wage by the mutually agreed means. You may request the vessel owner pay your full wage in cash, or remit the wage to your designated bank account. The bank fees will be paid by the vessel owner. The amount of your wage should not be less than 550 U.S. dollars per month. When you receive your wage or the bonus awarded by the vessel owner. Please remember to sign the receipt with your signature or fingerprint to ensure your rights and benefits. Four insurance. The vessel owner must insure you for the accident, medical, and life insurance. The insured amount of the pay-as-you-go medical insurance should not be less than three hundred thousand New Taiwan dollars, and the insured amount of the life insurance should not be less than one point five million New Taiwan dollars. Five transportation costs. The cost of transportation from your country to the location of the fishing vessel is undertaken by the vessel owner. However, if you do not arrive on time at the service vessel due to your own personal reasons, and the vessel leaves the port, and you find other means to catch up with and board the vessel, then you have to pay for the transportation costs from the departure to the fishing vessel. After the contract expires, the captain will bear the transportation costs incurred for your return trip to your home country. However, if you are sent back home due to a violation of law during the contract period, or if you terminate the contract early due to personal reasons, you will be responsible for your own transportation fees proportionally for the return trip to your home country. Six rest hours. According to the regulations, your daily rest time should not be less than ten hours, and there should be at least six consecutive hours of rest time. The total rest time in any seven days should not be less than seventy-seven hours. However, due to the characteristics of fishing operations, if there is an emergent need or safety concerns for the vessel, crew members, or catches. And your physical condition allowing, you may extend your working hours under an agreement between you and the vessel owner or captain. Be sure to arrange compensatory leaves. Seven labor protection. To ensure your safety, working on deck, you should wear an inflatable life jacket. The vessel owner must make sure that the fishing vessel is equipped with sufficient and well-functioning safety devices. For instance, life rafts, inflatable life jacket, and life buoys. 
Additionally, for your convenience of performing duties, the vessel owner will also provide you with the necessary equipment for work free of charge. For instance, rain boots, gloves, winter coat, etc. 8. Accidental injury and sickness. Should you get injured or sick during employment, the vessel owner should seek the nearest medical attention. Especially when the injury or sickness results from performing duties, the vessel owner is responsible for your medical costs. In the unfortunate event that you cannot be cured in the short term or even pass away, the vessel owner will send the remains and all your belongings to your designated contact. The vessel owner is also responsible for such fees. The agent will assist in contacting your family and handle all aftercare and insurance payout. However, if your injury or disease is not a result of performing your duties, and if the hospital determines that you are not fit to resume work in the short term, the vessel owner may terminate the contract with you in advance. 9. Services provided by the agent. The agent provides the following services. Arranges all the paperwork, documents, and procedures for your employment as a crew member on board a Taiwanese fishing vessel. Arranges the transportation between your home country and the fishing vessel where you work. Assists in the communications between you and the vessel owner. The agent should also inform you of the work rules and daily life management on board and take you to the designated hospital for medical examination and interpretation. Please take note of your agent's emergency contact number so that you can quickly raise any problems you face. Within the service contract signed by the agent and you, it will clearly list all the items that have extra charges and the required fees, such as the paperwork, procedures, and medical examination. The agent should not charge you any additional service or recruitment fee beyond the contract. 10. Loans if you need to borrow money from the vessel owner or agent, or if you need them to pay certain fees for you in advance, please note the creditor, item, amount, and repayment method on the slip. You must personally verify the slip, then sign it with your signature or fingerprint. No one can violate the repayment method specified on the slip or arbitrarily deduct compensation or a penalty from your wages. Eleven special needs. If you have any restrictions or special needs due to religion or cultural customs, please notify the vessel owner, agent, captain, or cadres beforehand. Twelve obligations. You must fulfill the contract and comply with laws and regulations of Taiwan and the port state. You should cherish the resources provided by the vessel owner captain and cadres, and not misuse them, and obey reasonable instructions from the vessel owner, captain, and cadres. You are prohibited from coercing or in-group fighting other people, vandalizing public property, or being absent from work at will, making excuses to evade embarkation on the fishing vessel. Firearms, ammunition, drugs, and contraband are also prohibited. To help the agent process paperwork and procedures efficiently, you must provide accurate personal information. Should your information be incorrect, you will be responsible for any complications with entering or leaving Taiwan. 13. Breach of Contract If you want to terminate the contract early, you must notify the vessel owner or agent beforehand. It should be noted that, unless such early termination can be attributed to any reason that is beyond your control, you are liable for any losses resulting from the early termination to the vessel owner or agent. Vice versa, if the vessel owner or agent decide to terminate the contract early, they are liable for any damages that may be caused to you. 14. Signing the contract. The vessel owner and agent should give you sufficient time to review and comprehend the contract. 
Once you are familiar with your rights and responsibilities, you can sign an employment contract with the vessel owner and a service contract with a Taiwanese agent, respectively. Please also remember to keep a copy of each contract for your own records. It is recommended you use your mobile phone to photograph and store important documents, such as contracts, for easy reference. We hope to create a friendly and safe work environment for you. If you encounter any issues regarding labor rights abuse, disputes over the contract, or mistreatment, please immediately report your situation. Never handle problems with violence. If you happen to be in Taiwan, you can dial the hotline one nine five five. Free consultation and appeal service in Chinese, English, Thai, Indonesian, and Vietnamese is provided. If you are outside of Taiwan, you can dial eight eight six two eight zero seven three three one four one. Or reach out to Taiwan's overseas missions, observers, inspectors, or fisheries officers stationed abroad to file a complaint. You can also raise any issue to the investigators when the vessel returns to Taiwan's domestic ports. The fisheries agency has established the Foreign Crew Interactive Service Platform, which provides information on crew rights, basic information on distant water fishing vessels. And online complaint forms in Chinese, English, Indonesian, Tagalog, and Vietnamese. You can use this platform to understand the conditions of the fishing vessels you work on before being employed, or to file a complaint through the platform. The government will fully protect the information of the complaining crew members and safeguard their rights. Have a safe journey. The Fisheries Agency, Ministry of Agriculture, wishes each of you all the best.